Yeah, we have some great loud and clear. Excellent. So welcome. Good afternoon, everybody. So we've got an exciting uh, day today. We are launching our brand new stamps from um, Asha Marquette. Um, we are launching them today. You can get them on our website um, for pre-order and join us on Hachanda on Thursday at 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. So um, that'll be really, really exciting. Um, yes, they will be the same price and you get to win them all. So one person who um, just um, comments, shares and likes um, will be chosen at random. Three. <gasps> oh, oh, Alfie's feeling generous today three people are going to win a set of these stamps okay so like comment and share and they'll be chosen at random three people to win a whole set of these new stamps are you ready are you ready don't you just love that isn't that just amazing i just love these stamps by asha she does such an amazing job let me come in a bit closer for you there you go absolutely gorgeous all hand drawn by asha of course they are all ready um cut out for you and mounted onto cling and they will cling to a an acrylic block ready to go um, they are lovely deep um, etched red rubber um, made by Els here in Nottinghamshire in Retford and ready to go absolutely gorgeous really nice big stamp you can see by the size of my hand um, really nice size okay next one so this one is called circle flowers not very imaginative of me um, but I just love them next one is called be different look at those are they amazing or what? I adore these, really beautiful. Love the um, squares, uh, the rectangles and the circles over here. We've got up at the top, we've got um, be different. Obviously those are separate, so you can have them whichever way round you want. Um, and then we have some really lovely sort of very, these could be flowers they could be plants they could be seaweed it could be anything um and i'm just you know loving loving this here this texture um and it says grow as well i just love that oh and yeah the um the screw head as well that is really fantastic love that as well um and then we also have and again let me turn those around for you so they're already cut out for you and then we have man in the moon so this is just gorgeous it's just one big stamp and it's got loads and loads of detail in it so you've got all of the the moons in here the man in the moon here so this is a, a double image here so you've got the full moon but you've also got the side on view as well um, and then you've got um, I'm laughing because <laughs> um, Daisy is giving Alfie a, <laughs> a wash <laughs> or trying to um, loads of lovely detail in the background there absolutely gorgeous so I'm just going to come in really close so you can see that I love those background textures and everything obviously I've coloured it in one way <laughs> Art Angel says, ha ha, I want to play with them right now. Um, you will get them so soon, you will. I love the man in the moon, absolutely so do I. Um, yes, we do try and be generous with our giveaways, um, absolutely. We've got to share the happiness, haven't we? We've got to share the love. Um, and um, all we say is um, just pass on the good fortune, be kind. Um, and finally, I adore this stamp. It's a little stamp of magic look at this collector's edition number 49 i've called it the matrix because it, it alfie does say it looks like the matrix doesn't it perfect absolutely love it it's so so useful absolutely fantastic and this is one of our collector's edition and this is number 47 i love this so this is the size of it 
Um, do you want to come on down, Alfie? Mm -hmm. So with these uh, collector's editions, these aren't usually uh, trimmed. So I like to uh, trim these off. Let's get rid of the plastic on here because that's very reflective. Okay, so I like to trim these off. So they come on their cling mount and this packaging, keep it because that's your storage because they cling to that. So just with a normal pair of scissors, it's really, really easy just to trim these off and I go as close as possible because um, I'm quite a messy stamper. I get ink everywhere. Um, so I just get really really close and this is a, a typical area where I would get loads of ink so I'm just going to snip that away again just it's really easy to cut through um, and it's not it doesn't make your, your scissors sticky either okay and I might just take a little bit out here there we go all done yeah I'm going to leave that nice bit on there so those you can reuse if you want and those go back on there so just want to show you how oh, these look fantastic I'm just going to show you this one in fact I've got one open here just on some plain photocopier paper this is just delish I love her stamps they are and I'm so pleased that we're working with her um, we are going to bring back all of her other stamps on the Hachanda show as well because I'm in love with them and just keep on using them. So, um, yeah, the Matrix stamp is fantastic. <laughs> I get scared cutting stamps from Anna Grace. Um, just get your mum to help, Anna. <laughs> and don't worry, if you if you cut through it, you know, we will we'll help you sort it out. Okay, so I'm just stamping with a bit of VersaFine onto some photocopy card, just so you can see how this looks. There we go. I'm not using a stamping platform. Oh, look at the detail on that. I love all of these numbers and splashes and dots in the background. Really lovely. And you can see there that we have the half moon there. We've got a full moon. Uh, and we've got other moon. This is lovely. I mean, even just stamping that on its own will look amazing. Okay, so let's come up a little bit. I can't see the camera because Alfie's... Sorry, yeah. No, if you swap it over the monitor, darling, then I can see. Swap, swap it to a different monitor. That's it. And then you use the right-hand monitor to do your work on. Sorry. Just doing technical stuff there we go then i can see what i'm doing on camera excellent and you just swap your window over right gorgeous that absolutely gorgeous let me show you the matrix <gasps> look at this so i love this and um i only got this stamp about five minutes ago but i adore it so i am going to be using it today Absolutely. Look at this. Oh, my word. Just love it. So it would help if I get it straight on the, on here. There we go. I think that's straight. Let's just try that out again. That's good. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, love that. So love that. Right, fresh piece of paper. I'm going to show you the others when I do my demo. So what we're going to do today, we are going to do some uh, different techniques with uh, translucent paints and what you can do with them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some watercolour card. This is Pink Frog. Um, I've just used a die just to cut out a wiggly edge um, just because I like it. Um, sorry, just having a quick drink. Um, just reading some of the comments. 
Yeah, that's really, yeah, I do that as well. I put an arrow on the back of text number stamps so I know that the, I'm the right way up. I do that with actually word stamps as well. <laughs> So great tip that from Christine. Right, okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to do a, a journal page. This is, uh, I do them on a separate piece for demonstration purposes and then I stick them in afterwards. So what I want to do is get a sort of um, cross um, composition here. So let's bring some water over. Uh, let's get my spray ready and what colours am I going to use? I'm going to use um, Red Hot Chilli. I'm going to be using um, yeah, Daffodil, just double checking. And I think I'm going to use, I'm definitely going to use a bit of lime um, and a bit of Mulberry Bush. Okay, so let's start here. So I'm going to just sort of like a, a lopsided cross so it's going down a third of the card but across the center okay so I'm just gonna paint generally where I'm going with this I'm also going to put some water on here on my paint mat before I get any paint out now um, one of my friends Carolyn she was saying how she's got some really old paint and I don't know if you can see this can you see it's a little bit almost like stringy and this um, this pot has been filled up by an old pot I found in the cupboard which I'd forgotten I had and so it is quite a few years old and don't worry that's just the acrylic and it probably needs a really good stir but it is still going to be a little bit thick but that's because we make them really, really concentrated. Now look, I've got it all over my, my paintbrush. But don't worry about that. And it usually happens after a few years, but that's why we've put them in these small pots now so that we, we don't usually, we don't have that problem because they last so long. It's, it's sort of a little bit ridiculous um, how long they, they work. Now I've wet the card as you can see just in that area and I'm just sort of uh, splodging it on. Okay and this is red hot chilli. So I think, I think we'll probably stick with that sort of shape. I'm just going to put a little bit more. I want it heavier because when we add water it does disperse and I want I want the colours to be a little bit brighter today okay so that's my move that water over bring that forward and I have about three jars of water when I'm demonstrating so that I've got I move my colours around okay so this is daffodil so all these you can find on the website and it's probably um called Kay's Choice because these are colours that I'm using a lot at the moment so I'm into bright colours um, yeah just because I think we need some bright colours in our lives at the moment um, and I'm going to just mix it in here with that red and it will create an orange when I add water can you see that so the, the lovely thing about translucence is that you can mix them beautifully and you can see I'm not being careful I don't want you to be careful with this at all I want you just to go for it just you know like children just don't think about it do they they just go for it look at that how it just pulls out the colors oh it's just so gorgeous and then I'm going to come in I think with some of this mulberry mulberry bush this is really really strong so um, you'll love you'll love this and it mixes so well with all the other colors I've got on here because this is a warm um, lovely warm cerise um, it's actually a, a true magenta I would call this so that mixes in beautifully there I think we'll have a little bit up here as well and just let that mix and merge and it doesn't have to be perfect remember this is just a background okay we are going to actually do stamping over the top so don't get too hung up over it 
okay now what I would normally do is dry this off and then come in with the lime okay because the lime I want it to stay as it is I don't want it to mix with the red or the the mulberry bush at all um, so normally I would dry this off <clears throat> and put a little bit of lime in here but I'm gonna risk just putting it in with the yellow because that will that will hold its color but saying that is actually mixed in with some of that lemon and it wouldn't have been as bright and then you just dry that off I've actually used a heat gun today but you can actually just leave it to dry naturally while you do all the bits of stamping and colouring that's what normally happens when I'm doing it um, and then what I've done is I've dried that off and then I've actually put some lime on here so can you see how I didn't want it mixing and merging and the lovely thing is because it's translucent you can still see that gorgeous red edge there as well okay oops let me just put that there in fact I've got another one here I could show you that so let's just go back a stage so let's get this lovely this is actually called um, lime marmalade so I've done this um, the other way around because I'm going to have two pages almost matching in my in my journal okay so the reason why I've done this lime separate is I didn't want the red to mix in with the lime and the beautiful thing about these translucent paints is because they are acrylic once they're dry they're dry you're not going to move them at all let's have a little bit around here over that lovely daffodil as well and can you see how it will just blend in beautifully rather than mixing with the daffodil it actually just blends really beautifully so I can come in and I can wet this now and it's not going to affect any of the other colors I put on first the red the orange the yellow it's just going to affect that lovely lime color and again lots of water let it just mix and merge and you get that pop of lime <coughs> excuse me sorry just pop that over there get another piece of photocopy paper there we go let me just have a drink <coughs> sorry about that it tickling my throat okay so clean my brushes let's get those out of the way okay so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of stamping so I want to show you these lovely stamps here so this is from let me get the right one for you this is from be different okay it's this stamp here love these so when I'm stamping this I actually look at this line here and I, I measure up don't measure but I line up this with the edge of the acrylic block so it doesn't matter what the others are doing because you've got slants everywhere but this is the straight line that I want so I'm going to measure that uh, line it up with the edge there okay and then I'm going to use some VersaFine and I'm going for black today nice dark color and then with this one I think I want it let me think now yeah I think I want it pointing so this is the line under here and that's gonna go on there and in fact what I could do is just what Christine said is just mark this with a sharpie or something so this is the squiggly line here this is the circle and this is the rectangle just so that I know my orientation on that one and then we're going to come in with this thicker one here okay so again what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one I think to line it up no I'm not I'm going to use this one so this one is going to be lined up with the edge of the acrylic block there okay 
Um, Kathy says, first time I've seen a translucent acrylic that paints like watercolour, but then fix itself when dry. This happens at home. Your absolutely. Well, this is why we um, came up with these paints um, many, many years ago. They can be because I went to a, a chemist and said, you know, I can't afford to get, you know, all the paints that I want. I want a fabric paint. I want. Um, you know, a paint that will go onto wood and metal and plastic and everything. And they went, you know, well, you can, but you can, you're not going to make much money because you're only going to sell one sort of paint. But that wasn't the point. The point was that we wanted something that we could use with everything. And the translucents are so useful because you can do all these beautiful watercolour techniques like this, but you can build on them and put layers upon layers. And that's what my art journaling is all about. It's all about the layers. It's all about adding the textures and the layers. And you can see the colours mixing together or you can see them layering and retaining that, that colour. And that's what I love about the translucents. You know, so if you look at my paint mat here, I can actually you take this daffodil and if I wanted I could mix in with some of that red hot chili and I've got the most beautiful clear bright orange and it still retains its translucence okay if you mix it with some of this mulberry bush look at that apricot color that is just to die for absolutely to die for probably needs a little bit more in there there we go isn't that just beautiful so that's just a couple of colors mixed together okay let me just wipe that up a minute because I've got other stuff that I need to do okay so again what you need to do is just blast these okay so that um, your ink is completely nice and dry so bear with me while I put a loud noise on Okay, so now the lovely thing is about this is um, this is such a beautiful colour already under there. But if I wanted to, I could actually add some more daffodil and really intensify that colour over the top. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's really, really beautiful. And that will just intensify it. Um, if I wanted to add a layer of yellow here on top of that red hot chilli then we're going to bring out more of an orangey red colour and because it's translucent I don't have to worry about the black line work because it's not going to cover it but then again if I want to actually cover an area to make images pop I can do that also so I want to use Sargasso Sea, the lovely blue. It's a great contrast to all the reds in this piece. Now, what I can do is I can actually go over with the translucent colour. But that's not going to actually cover anything because you can still see the colours underneath. And we're actually looking at green there. So that's lovely, but it's not what I want. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Sargasso Sea clean my brush let me just take my brush out of the water there um i took my ring off otherwise i'll lose it i'll put it back on um and then to make it translucent to make it opaque you can either use an opaque paint or you can add some of our white gesso to it now this has got titanium white in so it is going to alter the color it is going to make it paler but you're working with pure pigments here so it's going to be a beautiful colour and this is magic because this all of a sudden can change all of the translucent paints that you've already got. So all of a sudden you can make the most beautiful colours. Okay, so now I've got a hair in my brush. So now I can actually paint this with an opaque colour because we've added that my white gesso and because again this is another reason why we made the gesso a really good quality 
yeah you can buy gesso for 10p a litre or thereabouts but you can't do all the extra lovely tricks with it that you can with ours and this is one of them because it's a, a really high quality acrylic gesso then you can actually mix it with your your paints um, they last for us, they're so pigmented but still I had to buy them three times though <laughs> her set's got pitched by her daughters, oh bless <laughs> so even though I love what's underneath here I just want to have a contrast now that line work is going to disappear but that's fine I don't mind that because I want to really emphasize that lovely circle here okay <laughs> um, that noise in the background is Duke playing with Alfie <laughs> at least he's not barking he's a good boy right so you can see that the gesso mixed with the sargasso sear has created a beautiful opaque colour I just really love that colour, it's just delicious. Um, just clean my brush out, bear with a minute. And then I want to just come in with the tip of my, so I'm using the tip of my paintbrush, dipping it into the gesso, and I'm just going to do a spot there and a spot there. I'm going to do another little spot. What's he doing? He wants a biscuit. He wants a biscuit. Um, I think I'm going to go back in with my Sargasso C mix and my gesso and I'm going to come in and I'm going to do these little ones here as well. Goodness sake, have you given him a biscuit? Hit. He's caved, Alfie's caved and he's given him a biscuit. It hit Daisy on the, on the head. It hit Daisy on the head? What, the, bis the biscuit bounced off Daisy's head? Oh, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, this wasn't quite covering and that's because I hadn't put um, much gesso in because I've got some more out. <laughs> Joe rinsed a, a brush in a coffee. Yeah, I do that often. I, <laughs> I do. I keep trying to put my water on my right and my drink on my left, but it never happens because my tea goes cold then. Okay, so I really love that effect. And I love the fact that that now is really popping. Can you see that? And then this red, you can put another um, layer on that if you want to. Brenda's okay. just asked how many translucent paints? There's 18. How many translucent paints, Brenda? There are 18 at the moment with more coming in the future. Not immediate future, but they are coming in the future. Right, so loving that. So what I, I've done now is I need to get my other beautiful stamps out. I'll just put that at the top there with some Versafine. I adore these. These are from this one here, which is Circle Flowers. Now, my show, instinct... Yeah, show the, them again because people are just joining all the time. Okay, so these are the brand new stamps from... Um, Asher Marquette that we're launching today um, for pre-order because we're on Hachanda on Thursday okay at 9am and 2pm so I would normally just immediately get this one out but I thought no, no no these are gorgeous there's so much you can do with these so that's what I'm going to stamp now okay again they're cut out and cling mounted and then I'm going to just look how well those stamp they're beautiful. This is on watercolour card. I'm going to go in with the second one. Now, a few of the Bluebirds, who are our design team members, have actually... Oh, I've got some embossing powder on that. 
never mind, um, have said they've made little aliens out of these. And they look so cute. Uh, and you'll see the samples on Hachandra on Thursday when we do the um, when we do the show. So we've got 9am and 2pm for those who've just joined us. Okay, so gorgeous, gorgeous um, stamps. I've already cut some out. So Jill is just asking more paint. Um, any kinds of more cabinets? Jill can. Uh, Jill. Stop. Jill, just um, Jill, just email Alfie um, because they're not on the website, but he might have a, a couple stashed away. Um, he'll put your name on one until you get in contact with him. All right, so just um, just contact Alfie. Um, right, so I'm loving this Sargasso Sea so much. I think it's a great contrast to the the reds that we've got on there and all those lovely warm colors so i'm going to mix a little bit more you'll notice that i always mix <laughs> she sounds like marmalade that's daisy yawning um she's obviously bored by my uh, my demo <laughs> um i've completely lost track of what i was saying then anyway so um yeah can't remember so i only mix a tiny little bit of paint at uh, once because it's so concentrated you quite, can quite easily just end up leaving loads and it does dry off obviously you can you can make a background with it you know um or a bit of rice paper to clean up on okay so i think we don't need my hairs there i think what we'll do is we'll introduce a bit of lime into this um we don't want that one we want this one and so I'm going to come in with the Sargasso Sea mixed with the gesso. Now remember with this one, now this is opaque, I'm going to have to be careful with my painting because it will cover up those black lines. So I'm just going to do a little bit of blue just to tie in all of those colours. It's a good job not stick my tongue out while I'm doing this. But it is really really nice to colour these in they're just so gorgeous they really are and then I'm going to come back in with some mulberry bush again this is so strong you need a grain of rice size and look how it spreads out with a bit of water so I'm going to come in with the translucent mulberry bush in there because I, it, it's straight out of the pot just mix with a bit of water it's translucent and therefore it's not going to cover up those back lines at all Lisa's asked if you can put a translucent over the opaque so they can see how it changes the effect yeah okay yeah. I'll do mm. that so yes you can lay out a translucent over an opaque um, so this one is already dry so this is opaque this is what i mixed up with the sargasso sea and the white gesso and then if i go over the top you can see that let's bring in that one because you're effectively layering um it's like layering light actually what we used to do in photography you use light gels it's obviously sitting over the top of that and you can see through it to Sargasso Sea and it makes this beautiful violet colour. I'm going to try and bring that up to the camera. Um, I know go that to it... the, Go to the front on Oh, one I'll go to the front on one, Alfie just... says. Um, okay, so let me get these ready for you. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Mm, he's doing it, he's doing it. Okay. okay, so let me see where you are. Okay, so you can see here is the mulberry bush and here is the mulberry bush over the top of the Sargasso Sea mixed in with the white gesso that made it opaque. So you do get that lovely layering of colour which is gorgeous so you can see the colour through that translucent and it's a much clearer look than mixing it in so i think that is gorgeous 
it's a really lovely violet colour. Painting's not great, but never mind. Okay, so, and then I'm going to introduce a little bit of, um, oh, we're sorry. Getting, we're getting old. Alfie's, <laughs> okay. Alfie's trying. We're down, are we? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Alfie's trying with his cameraman skills and it's, I mean, I'm going too fast for him. So I do apologise. Right, so you can see that that lovely Morby Bush colour just goes on like a dream over the top of that black without obscuring it. So Karen's asked how we notify winners. We notify them on Facebook. Yeah, we always notify winners on Facebook, Alfie says. Um, we announce it on there. Um, and we, last week we were on um, Craft Stash is Facebook page, weren't we? Mm -hmm. And we did. We're doing that once a month and we actually gave away a Dirty Weekend virtual ticket. Vir virtual Dirty Weekend ticket, I should say. <laughs> that sounds better. No, we didn't. Not on Craft Stash. Did we not? No. Where did we give it away then? On our Zoom last week. Oh yes, it was. It was on our um, Facebook. Facebook Live last week, wasn't it? See, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Okay, so what time are we? Good, good, good. Right, so I've put some lime on this one, as you can see. I've put a little bit of lime marmalade on that one as well. And this one I've just left with Sargasso Sea and Magenta. Alrighty. And I think we'll bring this back in. Now, let's just get some stamping done on here, shall we? Because that's what I love. Can you mix okay. the paints with Luscious? Can you mix the paints with Luscious? Absolutely. Translucent paints work really well with Luscious because they're not going to interfere with the um, lovely uh, sparkling mica. And the, but of course, you know, you will mix the pigments as well. So yes, those work beautifully. Um, they don't work with, they, well, you can do it, but they don't work well with opaque colours because um, you're going to just cover up all of the mica particles and you won't get that shine. Okay, so this is that one from Be Different. That's that stamp there, which I love. And we're going to come in with our matrix. Let me try and line that up. And I'm just going to test it on a piece of scrap card, scrap paper, just to make sure I know where it is. That's good. I think we'll do a just a bit here and there. Very, very lightly. That's good. So I'm going to stick in with this sort of cross section here that I'm looking at. There we go. I just like that really, really faint. And let's see what's happening with these. Okay. Yeah, I think those would probably go all right there. I don't think we need, yeah, maybe we do need a little bit more of that matrix because it's so good. I'm going to take it off and do some freehand stamping this time and I'm just going to do a little bit here yeah there we go and maybe a touch here and maybe a little bit there would the translucent paint go over Posca pen the translucent paint will go over Posca pen. Again, it's not going, because Posca pen is acrylic, so it's not going to cover it, but it is going to mix in. So if you had a white Posca pen and you wanted just to, you know, put a little bit of maybe, I don't know, um, Mulberry Bosch over the top, it's going to um, cover that. Not cover it, it's going to um, come up pink because of the white background. But again, if you've got a, a blue and you go over it with a red, it's going gonna, it's gonna to affect it. So yes, it will it will go over the top. And Debbie's asked what the best ink pad is to stamp over the paint. Um, stamp over paint, I actually use uh, Versafine because it's a, an oil based. And I also use, um, let me get one out. 
I also use Versafine Claire, um, but my favourite way of stamping over paint is with my own paint and that looks really nice. But you can see this is all painted and it's stamping beautifully with the Versafine. Versafine, in, um, in my humble opinion, is they make the best paints, uh, sorry, the best inks. Um, and they're, they're available all over the place. You can get them off our Indigo Blue website as well. Um, so I think those are going to go in here. So before I stick things down, I just have a bit of a play around with, with them before they go on. Okay, so I'm happy with those. Those are going to go on. Um, and then I'm just using an acrylic glue. This is actually our new one. Um, it's not been released just yet, but I like it because it's a quick grab and it dries clear and matte. And I think we'll have this one about there because I, I like to see that oblong there in the background and you can see how the blue is is a nice contrast my painting is appalling now i'm looking at it close up but never mind i would normally go back over that but there we go now to really make those stand up I'm going to just get some, let me put some lids on these before, because it's hot in this room, which is a miracle. Ooh, looking nice. Yep, I think that's working okay. Yeah, I do like a bit of abstract from time to time. Now this is a translucent ugly duckling. Okay, so this is a really nice brown. And I love this because it's great to mix with other colours because it will give you a deeper shade of whatever you're using. Look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's a, a tiny bit of magenta mulberry bush that was left on my paint mat. But also, I really like it because it's good for making a little bit of shadow. So plenty of water because it's obviously concentrated. And I'm just going to bring it round the edges here. Mm, Iris is watching the show from home. Oh, excellent. Iris is watching that show from home. Fantastic. Excellent. That's brilliant news. I'm so happy for you. About time you're out of hospital, so that's brilliant. Lots of love from me and Alfie and Ella. So you can see that I've just, and you, you just build it up slowly because it's translucent. It does look like a shadow um, and just bit by bit, just bring that, bring that round. Now I would take a bit more time over this and just do it quite gradually. And I'm going to miss out. I'm not going to go all the way around because I really love this these shapes here. I think they are beautiful. And we're all right, we've got another seven minutes to go. Because Alfie's got another um, meeting. Right. So I would do a little bit more on that. But I'm just going to bring in my Be Different, which what I've done is I've just literally a scrap of watercolour card, stamped it on, let it dry, and then I've just sprayed it with a bit of water and put a little bit of Sargasso Sea over the top. And then just to, you know, it mark it just so it fits in with the style of, of Ashes stamps, I'm just going to scribble around the edges, literally just Jill's asked what size brush you use for the shadows what size brush um so it wasn't that one it was a bigger one wasn't it so i used 
This is about, it doesn't have a number on this. I think it's about a six. Yeah, I think it's about a number six. No, it doesn't have a number on. Yeah, it's about a number six round. But whatever you feel comfortable with, Jill, to be honest. And what colour did you use for the shadow? And the colour I used for the shadow is Ugly Duckling, which is this lovely translucent brown. So translucent again because then it doesn't cover up the colour underneath, it just gives it that lovely shadow look and it's called Ugly Duckling. But I would probably persevere with that and take a little bit more time over it. Um, so I think... And what pen are you using? Oh, the pen. Um, that was just a normal uniball that I, I actually write with. So any, any black pen really. So um, your micron pens work well. But I found that this actually goes over my paint quite well. Um, and I think we'll probably just finish off with with those here. Let's just stick those down. I was going to put some more line work on, but I think that's fine for today. I might actually just add a few bits. Sometimes you just need to go away, make a cup of tea and come back and have a look and see what you think. And what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm dating my work as well so that when I look at my journal I can actually see because I obviously have about four journals on the go some are even a few years old um, and it's good to see you know where you put the date what day is it today I'll say darling 15 So then I know what I've, I've done. And so I would take that ugly duckling and just give that a shadow as well around here. But I'm going to let Alfie go because he's got another Zoom meeting. He's, he's doing some mentoring for um, some university students. Karen's just asked when we should look for the winners. Well, the, the winners will be notified on Wednesday. The winners will be notified on Wednesday. So if you didn't catch it, make a comment, like and share, and um, you'll be in with the chance of winning one of three people. Um, three people will win a set of the brand new stamps. Just put them all out again, just show yeah, them. I'll just do that. They are gorgeous. They really, really are. I love them. So, Man in the Moon, Be Different, Circle Flowers and Collector's Edition number 49, The Matrix. Jill's I asking. love these. Love, 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 love these. Who Jill's asking. Last, last week and I can't remember but it will be on the Facebook page. Okay, um, Alfie says, he can't remember the name of who won but it, it, it will be on the Facebook page um, announced. So, if you just scroll down, um, you'll see the winner and notified then as well. So, um, yes. So, Achanda, please join me on Achanda for loads of techniques. I'm on for two hours, so 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Thursday, this Thursday. So grab yourself a cup of tea and a slice of toast, and um, I'll see you on Thursday, and we'll do some more demos of these beautiful flowers. You can actually order these now on our website, indigoblue.com and they will be on pre-order for you. So um, so thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Lovely to see you all, and um, we'll see you again next Monday for some more techniques and fun and playing and giveaways. Great to see you all. Thanks for joining me. Um, that's, yeah, Thursday, 18th of February, 9 and 2, says Jill. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you again. Lots of love to everyone. Bye.